It's a catch weight bound at 175 pounds, sponsored by Kinesis Realty Partners. It is contested under the rules of female Muay Thai action and is scheduled for three two minute rounds. Your first fighter fighting out of the Allure Properties Blue Corner. She weighed in at 172.6 pounds. She has a record of one win with one loss. She's representing Outlook MMA out of Nashville, Tennessee. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Ashley Brim. Really, really liking the, the walk-in song. Yeah, a little Ashley Britney Spears Brim. here Absolutely. accompanying Ashley Brim to the ring. And she's been pretty well hyped here, I guess. It's been a difficult a difficult venture to try and get an opponent in the ring for her, but that's exactly what we have tonight. Ashley Brim is very excited to show off her skills. And I'm excited to see her. Uh, after hearing, you know, all the hype, I I'm excited to see what it's all about. Absolutely. Outlook MMA already has a win tonight. Ashley looking to provide win number two for the gym. Ashley looking very focused. Oh yeah. And we'll hear her opponent coming out right now. And her opponent fighting on the Knoxville Mortgage Brokers Red Corner. She weighed in at 188 pounds. She has a record of one win with no losses. She's representing Team NKI right here in Knoxville, Tennessee. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Sydney Ayler. Sydney's got a good little following here tonight. Yeah, so I was just gonna ask, Josh, you know much about Sydney Ayler? Any training time with her? I do not know anything okay. about her other than she is from NKI who has a bunch of people on the card tonight. Yeah. They, they're always representing big on these Aries cards. Absolutely. Ashley Brim a little bit older, a little bit taller. Sydney Eller, you see though the weight was the issue for her coming into this one. That is a big weight discrepancy. That being said, she's one of the only women to answer the call to get into the ring with Ashley Brim. Yeah. And what a way to put the weight cut issues behind you than to get in here, mix it up, yeah. make an impact, make a statement. This is actually the first women's Muay Thai that I've been a part of. That I yeah. know we've had it as the juniors, right, we've had right. women's MMA, yeah. but this is the first women's tie. So, you know, history in the promotion, and I'm excited to be a part of it. This fight brought to you by Kinesis Realty. Shout out to all of our sponsors here at Aries Fight Series 8. The crowd is into this Yeah, too. absolutely. This crowd has come alive absolutely. for this one before a single punch has been thrown and that, that just amps me up and it amps the fighters yeah, up. I love it. Nashville right around the corner and we're here in the backyard of Sydney Eller. Ashley Brim's kind of got a uh, Golden State Warriors vibe with the tape and the gold knee pads, and she oh, comes there, out, and we're trading right away. immediately. We did not waste any time. Oh, you know, Sydney's oh, doing a great right, job right, of keeping right. that distance absolutely right, and they are going to town. Sydney landing early. Ashley's Ashley throwing a lot, right back. but she's not landing the significant hits that Sydney is. Yeah, that one. Oh, hitting from the body. Yeah, that was a three-piece body combo there from Cindy Ayler. Cindy has some great accuracy, and she kind of stands outside of the pocket, oh. too. Oh, they each just buckled one another briefly. Uh, I'll be surprised to see this fight go into a, go into a third. Well, that's for sure. It's interesting to see how the, the weight cut difficulties play out. Maybe you're when you're right. that much over. You stopped yourself from cutting and depleting yourself so that you could be able to perform. Of course, different people have different feelings about that, but when the fight starts, the fight has begun, you know? Absolutely. Ashley's starting to find the range now. Yeah, we're seeing a lot of strikes. We're not seeing a whole lot of kicks coming into this bout. I think 
Sydney has a little more pop on her strikes than, than Ashley does. I agree. Cindy still looks pretty calm in there. Yeah, she's kind of stalking her a little yep. bit. Oh, and they're man. right in front of us now. You're really getting yeah. to feel each punch. Ashley's doing a good job on staying off the cage, but Cindy's still kind of oh, controlling where oh. she wants her to be on this. Now, as Ashley has Cindy against the cage. Wow, oh, what a round, wow. what a round. Wow. And there's a little animosity there. I actually yeah, like that. Cindy We've is seen a lot of sportsmanship, but I love a little animosity. That's great. Cindy is in there for a war, and she is getting it. And we're taking a look now at the round one replay. No one really finding their mark in this replay, but right there, that was the big right hand. Yes, snapped her opponent's head back. Uh, a little more power on the shots from Sydney. Maybe a little more accuracy from Ashley, but that was really a great flurry there to end round one. So Don't John, forget, ladies and gentlemen, go see my friends over in the KGO. Keep going, the official table tonight. They got a special going: buy one, get one half price on whey protein. So Josh, you're buy in the corner of Ashley. Products. What are you telling her right now? I'm telling her to. She needs to circle keep to her right, stay away from that big right hand, and just keep her jab pumping. Right, don't get in a firefight with her. I think she's going to lose that battle. And here they go. So he's coming with that big right yeah, hand. Yeah, that is Absolutely a big right, right hand. But when you load up, your opponent can see it coming. And right there. Yep. Ashley's doing a little better on keeping her guard up on that right well, side as well. Her punches are a little straighter too. So she's beating, beating Sydney to the punch when she's cocking back to throw that big looping overhand. Ashley would throw some teeps, some front kicks down the middle to keep her off of her as well. Yeah, yeah that would be a very, very useful technique, I think. I agree with you. Mouthpiece came out. Or no, she was shin guard. Came all side. And we're getting back into it. Ashley's had some good moments, but she just hasn't had that chance to really find a yep. string of a string of combo or excuse me a string of punches or kicks that find their home i agree i think that sydney found her rhythm a little bit faster and ashley's still looking for it got 50 seconds left here in the second round and what has been a very close contest so far Cindy just doing a great job of staying right outside of that range and making Ashley throw in a lot of shots. And so we're coming to the second round, you know, we're getting a lot of weight in those gloves and those gloves are becoming very heavy. Every shot that Ashley's coming out and Cindy's dodging is, is another one out of the tank. Oh, Big shots. Right to the body. Yeah, that was nice for the body. It's good to invest in that body. 10 seconds left in the second round, and we'll see. I, this was a pretty close round. Absolutely. They're starting to slow a little bit, but Cindy's doing a good job on ending these rounds. We'll see if she does it here as well. I should kind of end the last one in a bit of a flurry. And it looks like Ashley is, is kind of taking that on. We are headed to a third and final round. Wow. Well, I, I didn't think we were going to get to a third round here, but we are. Tough one to judge so far. We're going to take a look at the round two action. Low kick from Ashley. Sydney looked like she was measuring her for a big right, but just never quite found a home for it. Oh, oh there you go. And in a round that close, just that one punch could do it. That's, no, yeah. that's a great point. That is a great point. There really wasn't much to separate the fighters there. And Ashley, I feel like she's got to have a sense of urgency in the third. Uh, not that she decisively lost either round, just that I think there was a lot of hype around her coming in, and maybe it didn't go as smoothly as she had planned, so it's, it's going to be good for her to put a stamp on it in the third. Mm -hmm. Well, for missing weight, it doesn't look like Sydney's going anywhere either. She's still game here in the third. 
Absolutely. She looks eager to get this action back on. Third round underway. They meet in the middle, and Cindy immediately starts throwing the punches with a right hand in. Ashley taking her time, and it's really when Ashley needs to, to catch up, stay off her heels, and put it on Cindy. That front kick up the middle would just I know. really pay off. Yeah. Since you've said that, I do see some opportunities for it. Oh, a nice combo there from Ashley. That was good. Ashley seems like she's getting in there, and then she's taking a step back when she gets in there. Sydney would just diversify the strikes just a little bit. Give her something else to think about. All right, Ashley is starting to find something here. Sydney has had the center of the ring for most of the fight, too, and that's kind of yes. visually that's more appeasing to the judges. Absolutely. Sydney likes to keep her feet where they're at, pull her head back to avoid the punches, and that's a yes. time that yep. Ashley needs to throw kicks or punches to the body. Little two-shot body combo there from Sydney Ayler. Ashley looking for a home for the jab. Thirty seconds left. Ashley really needs to put something together. Yeah, here. I was Absolutely. just thinking there's got to be a little more urgency right here for Ashley. I think. Cindy's still just taking her time, picking these shots. As you mentioned, a very strong jab and heavy leg kick there from Sydney. Yep. Good jab from Sydney, there right to the body. Come, come back there from uh, seconds left. from Ashley. That was good. Nice fight, ladies. A lot of respect being shown. Yeah, that was a good contest. Josh, how'd you read that one? You know, I think just the power of uh, Sydney stepping in with those right hands uh, kind of dominated the action. I, I think she's going to take it. I'm yeah. inclined to agree. Uh, we're going to see the replay here from round three. Houston, what do you think about what we're seeing on the replay? You know, I think Cindy did do a great job, as Josh mentioned, of, of standing where she is and just leaning right out of the range for Ashley and just staying dominant in the center of the ring. Well, for Ashley, it was a long wait for an opponent. It's always tough when your opponent misses weight. That being said, it was a very spirited contest, very close. And the juniors, you know, the judges had a controversial decision that upset the crowd. Could that happen sure. again? I don't know. I don't know. That's always the danger when it goes to the judges. Yep, absolutely. nervous moments as you're waiting for that scorecard. Absolutely. No matter if you've bet on a fight, you're in the fighter's corner, you're just a fan of the fighter, it's all out of your control at this point. Yeah, this is a nerve-wracking time here. Yep, it's either going to be the uh, thrill of victory or the agony of defeat. You can tell yeah. Ashley was excited to get those gloves off. The first time I ever went to a decision with my second fight, I dominated the fight. But as soon as we went to the scorecards, my heart started beating fast. I was like, man, I hope I don't get screwed. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, anything could happen here. Did sure. it go your way? It did. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> so I have to ask, seeing guys like Dan Garrett, does that inspire you to want to jump back in? I mean, you're, yeah, you know, you're years I'm, behind him, so. I'm always, yeah. I'm always oh thinking my about God. fighting. My so wife hates it. Sure. <laughs> down. Well, Jeff Hobbs here to resolve the matter. We are going to find out who won this thing in just a moment. He is ready to go. All right. We went to a judge's scorecard. Judge one scores this about 30-27 blue corner. Judge two scores this bout, 30-27, red corner. 
and Judge Three scores this bout 29-28 for your winner. Out of the blue corner by split decision, Ashley. Interesting. Brilliant. Well. Okay. That is a little bit surprising, folks. But that being said, it is a W in the win column for Ashley Brim. She waited so long for an opponent. Both of these young ladies, one last time, hear ya.